you details on the abrupt closure of a Warwick restaurant. As we first told you yesterday, the TGI Fridays on Route 2 in Warwick shut down without warning this weekend. Our cameras captured crews removing the signs outside of the location this afternoon. And new tonight, we're hearing reaction from a former employee who says he was hired just days before the restaurant closed. Iowa Dish News reporter Logan Wilbur is live in Warwick with what that employee is saying tonight. Logan? Yeah, the signs are already down. And with this unexpected closure of the TGI Fridays here in Warwick, there are no Friday restaurants in Rhode Island. On Sunday night, employees showed up for a shift just like they would any other day, but quickly found out that was not the case. The closing of TGI Fridays caught many employees by surprise. I was just such in like shock. I just clocked out and left. I didn't say anything to anybody. Perhaps no one more shocked than Christian Raposa. My first day was Saturday. I liked it for the first two days I was there. <laughs> like I was just starting to meet everybody. I was starting to get comfortable. Not even 24 hours after announcing the closure, all the building signs are now gone. The company made what it's calling a strategic decision based solely on business demands. A decision Christian said was made months ago. If that was me, I would have told them two months ago not to hire anybody. Friday's employees were given the option to continue working at another location, the closest being in Massachusetts. Can't do that. Eyewitness News reached out to the mayor of Warwick. He says with the demand on Route 2, he expects a new business coming in soon. Christian says he would apply to whatever business opens next, but he's concerned about a trend. It's two, two restaurants closing in the matter of two weeks. Now, what Christian was referencing was not only the closure of this TGI Fridays, but two weeks ago, an Outback Steakhouse closed in East Greenwich. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear more from Christian, who actually worked at that Outback up until the closure. Live in Warwick, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News. For local coverage now from Warwick, today workers removed the signs from the TGI Fridays on Route 2 following the restaurant's sudden closure yesterday. Eyewitness News reporter Logan Wilbur talked to a former employee who says he was hired just days before the restaurant shut down. Logan joins us now live from Warwick with the interview. Yeah, many employees were less stunned by Sunday night's closing of the TGI Fridays here in Warwick. But the employee I spoke with earlier tells me to make it all worse. He's been through this before. An abrupt closure of the TGI Fridays in Warwick. In shock. I was like, this is crazy. Everything just got ripped away. Christian Raposa, an all too familiar feeling. It's the second time in two weeks. Sunday was his second and last day at his new job, which he applied for when the East Greenwich Outback closed two weeks ago. All Friday's employees were given the option to work at another Friday's location, but with this closure, Friday's restaurants no longer exist in Rhode Island. Like Outback gave me the same like option. I told them, no, I'm a student. I can't really do that. I don't have a car right now. Eyewitness News asked the mayor of Warwick about this closure. He was unavailable to go on camera, but issued this statement, saying in part, with this robust economy, we are hopeful that all of the displaced employees will find suitable employment quickly. Now, Christian tells me he will apply for any job at a restaurant that may take over this now vacant building here behind me. He was he is saving up for college next year. He's going to be going to Leslie University, where he will be on the baseball team. Live in Warwick, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News.